Thank you, Alex. Uh, I would like to begin by saying I am just delighted to be here today, delighted to be your service leader today, delighted to see so many friendly and familiar faces and several new faces that I haven't seen before. Mm. The title of my message that I'm offering today is called Playing with Non-Self. And I wrote my notes for this about, uh, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. Uh, and I was camping with my husband this last couple of days in Otanagan. And we went into St. Vinny's to check out the books they had. And um, I stumbled on this author that I happened to like, Eckhart Tolle, a book of his I had never heard of or read. It's called A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. And I thought, oh, I like this guy. I'll, I'll just buy this book. I didn't bring any books to, for camping and if I need to spend some time. And uh, it just kind of delighted me that the first two chapters are basically what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I had already written it, <laughs> so I thought, okay, we'll take that as a sign, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, playing with non-self. Uh, Buddhism talks about non-self kind of a lot. Uh, what is that? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, I think it's a tricky question. I think it's a really hard question to answer. As if you can't answer, but especially in a language that is so full of words like I, me, my, mine, and myself. I will hear myself say I an awful lot during this talk. I know that. I know that. Okay. Um, so I don't even know if I'm really going to answer the question, but I do play with self-talk uh, around this idea. The words that we use for what we feel, whether physical or mental. And I would like today to share the language that I use and uh, how that changes what I feel and how it helps non-self to make more sense. Uh, so I'm going to begin with what is self. I've got a slide prepared. And uh, this is the the Buddhist idea about what is a self. The story goes that the Buddha looked into the self and he found five things. The body, feelings, perceptions, mental formations, which would be thoughts. It also includes emotions, I know, but uh, memories, mind stuff, and consciousness, five things. And the Buddha said, there's nothing else. That's what there is, these five things. Um, and in the Buddhist teachings, uh, the, every one of those five things is continuously ever changing, impermanent. So we could say the body is ever changing. The body has been ever changing since conception let alone birth, let alone five years old, let alone 65 years old. This body has changed and changed and changed and is ch two minutes ago, it's changing all the time. And you could say the same for all the other four items. That's what the Buddha said. And uh, so that means that there can't be a fixed self. That's, 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 that's the, the line of thought. And that each of those is made up of countless other things. Uh, like a flower, or the human body, or any of those. A flower is made of sunlight, water, dirt, air. Okay, flower DNA, which is made up of molecules, which is made up of atoms. So that, that you, you can't find a thing that's flower. It's only other things. And you could say that about these five items. So in the Buddhist teachings, that means there is no separate identity. No, nothing, nothing fixed and nothing separate. All, all together. 
So, <laughs> many schools in Buddhism say there is no self at all, which I could take to be no permanent, fixed, separate self. And I'll tell you, I am not sure, I'm using the word I here, I am not sure of what's right, wrong, true, false, I don't know. I don't know. But I did want to at least just give you a little picture about what, when Buddhism talks, how, what they mean about self, and sort of that points to non-self. So I know in the English language, this language is so full of references to self. I, me, mine, myself. I feel angry. I feel sad. I am happy. My head hurts. My foot is throbbing. It's really difficult if you start to listen to let go of those, those words in our language. But other languages are the same. At least two that I know of are a little different. In Vietnamese, there is no word I. So instead of saying, I am speaking for Koof today, it would be Carol is speaking for Koof today. Or your elder sister or younger sister is speaking for Koof today. Or your servant is speaking today. There is no word I in the Vietnamese language. Wrap your head around that. And in another language, French, there's no my body parts. It's the arm, the head, the foot. It's never my body parts. And what I have found is that letting go of this idea of self will lead to less suffering for both me <laughs> and people around me. So let's say my back hurts. If I say my back hurts, my face tightens up, my, my emotions tighten up, it hurts more when it's my back that hurts. And it's been hurting straight for two weeks with no, no breaks. When I say, the back hurts, the, ba the back hurts. My face doesn't screw up. And it leaves some room for curiosity. Well, how much does it hurt? Where does it hurt? Has it changed? No, it's been constant for two. No, actually, it hasn't been constant for two weeks. It, it kind of eased up, you know, and when I started, I had back pain about a month ago. Uh, when I started really paying attention, I realized it doesn't even stay in the same place. It was kind of moving around. So, and particularly the tightness eases up if the language is the back hurts instead of my back hurts. So there's some suffering that's eased already, right there. There's other tricks you can play with, like there's a sensation in the back. Oh, we didn't even call it pain, did we? We just say, there's a sensation. You could say, I, I, I was speaking to a friend, and I said, yeah, there's a strong sensation. You know, it's not that strong right now. It's more of a moderate sensation. <laughs> It allows, it allows some space and some openness uh, for some possibility to suffer less, quite frankly. So let's shift to, to emotions. If I say, I'm angry. Well, I am anger in that moment. I had shared this with a couple of friends, and one said, you know, I'm, I'm work, I've been working with that. I'm, now I'm saying, I feel 
angry instead of I am angry. I thought, okay, that's a, that's a shift. That's kind of a baby step. Um, and the, my, my favorite playing with this is to say, anger is arising. Ang anger is arising. Funny, when you realize anger is arising, you're instantly less angry. At least that works for me. I might still be angry, but it doesn't grip me so tight. It's a, a loosening. So for me, when I play in this way, I'm less attached to my sense of self. I still have a sense of self. I bet every one of us does. If I ask you, what does that mean, self? Yeah, it's me, it's myself. Oh, is it the body? Is it your feelings? I don't know. So we play. So I'm gonna invite you to play for just a moment here today. Just, let's just, just close your eyes if you're willing and do a body scan. Of, is there any part of the body that is experiencing discomfort? And try it. I am, I feel pain or whatever, or the back hurts, or there's a sensation in the body part. Can you feel a difference? Hmm. Thank you for playing with me. Uh, and I really invite you to try it uh, whenever there is a, a, a strong emotion arising. Uh, it seems like in, in all the Buddhist talks, they always pick on anger. Anger is the, I don't know, maybe because it's so potentially volatile. Um, for me, the most common, uh, let's say, negative emotion is judgment. And how I play with that is I'll say, ooh, <laughs> judgment's arising there. And once I start doing that, I find that judging, co judging covers a big spectrum. It's like, it's comparing. So, oh, that strawberry is not as sweet as the one I had before. It may seem silly to compare strawberries, but it's like, it's like what, it's, it's a habit. Comparing is a habit, and comparing is always, always, always judging. And then we find we're judging people. So it's not just I feel or this is, but oh man, my neighbor shouldn't have done that. Then this, I'm so used to practicing, to playing with this. Ooh, judgment arising. That's interesting. That invites curiosity again. Why does that matter so much to me? What's that about? And if I'm judging my neighbors, judgment, uh, suffering is bound to show up somehow, somewhere in the neighborhood. If I'm feeling angry, that's gonna hurt people around me. But if I notice anger arising, if I notice judgment arising, there's some space. I can back off. There doesn't have to be as much suffering for me or any other persons. So things that I had just wanted to, to bring today is kind of a look at what is the self because it's hard to know a non-self without what is a self. But the language of self is not just the way English works. So the concept of self can be different if our brains are wired differently with different languages. 
I did want to practice with the, the body part, the head, the foot, the chest, the back, whatever. And I really invite us to play here, there, everywhere with something is arising. Whatever feeling, emotion, thought, sensation, what is arising. I, I, I've, I have been playing, I, I keep hearing the word I, it just makes me stumble and giggle. Uh, I've been playing with is arising for well over 10 years. It becomes a habit and, uh, and I think a really useful one because it kind of takes all that intensity out of things. You can do it with joy too. Joy is arising and then you can choose to leave it there. That's okay. It will disappear. Everything does. But uh, there's not, uh, not any particular, particular stuff you can need to work with or must work with. Mm. So I hope you try it. Letting go of this unconscious grip of self. We can just loosen it in any way. I would, I, would, I would pretty much guarantee your life will have more ease and more joy. And uh, it would be easier to relate to other people without difficulties if, if you're able to practice that. So thank you very much. And I guess I'm recommending this book by Eckhart Tolle, since the first two chapters are pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm.